So air pollution has lots of effects, but I think the thing we worry about most is the shortening of life and reducing people's life expectancy. Forty years ago, we were thinking about this issue and began what was called the Six City Study. And that study showed that people living in more polluted cities had shorter life expectancy through increased respiratory problems, but also through increased heart attacks, increased strokes. And as air quality has gotten better in those communities, we've seen that those people are living longer and have better health. Air pollution comes from combustion and we're burning fuels for produce energy, to produce heat, uh, to drive our cars. All the things we think about in terms of our day-to-day -day life contribute to this. And air pollution is not independent of global warming issues. Uh, the same sources that are contributing to global warming are also causing the air pollution in this country and in developing countries. When you think about the need for increased electricity, cooking and women being exposed, their children being exposed, heating using wood, crop residues, uh, dung even, automobiles, congestion building up in these developing countries leading to increased exposures that we see uh, in the news all the time now. We have seen improvements in air quality over the past 40 years in the United States and Europe and other developed countries. This has been due to controls on automobile emissions, uh, reductions in emissions from power plants and other industries, and increased fuel efficiency. And as air pollution gets better, even at these very low levels we have currently, we can see improvements in health in terms of extended life expectancy, uh, reduced asthma attacks, re reduced hospital admissions. 